The resumption of the Premier League campaign this weekend will mark the beginning of the final sprint to the finish line for many. For Manchester United, however, it could mark the beginning of another fixture marathon. Already 46 games deep into the first season of the Eric Ten Hag era, the Reds could play up to another 19 matches before the season reaches its conclusion, should they progress to the finals of both the FA Cup and Europa League. United signed off for the international break by reaching the semi-finals of the FA Cup to book a last four date with Brighton at Wembley next month, meaning they are still in with a chance of winning three major trophies this term. They won the Carabao Cup last month, defeating Sunday's opponents Newcastle United, to end their six-year wait for a trophy, meaning there is now a hunger for more silverware before the end of the campaign. United's progress in the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup and the Europa League this season has meant that their fixture schedule has often had a theme of alternating between a league fixture and a cup match. It has meant United have endured both a relentless and demanding schedule, particularly since the World Cup. Although that has meant they are in with a strong chance of ending the season with yet more silverware, it has, even if only slightly, derailed their hopes of wrapping up a top four berth, which was their top priority at the beginning of the season, without too much fuss. The Reds have won just three of their last eight league matches. While it is by no means disastrous, highlighted by the fact they are currently third in the standings, it is a record they will hope to improve, starting at St. James Park on Sunday afternoon. The Reds' trip to Tyneside to face Newcastle will mark their first of three league games in the space of just seven days, meaning this forthcoming week could be pivotal in their quest to wrap up a top-four berth and Champions League qualification for next season. After facing Newcastle on Sunday, United will have just two days to prepare themselves for a clash with Brentford at Old Trafford on Wednesday night. They will then have just another two days to dust themselves down and prepare to take on Everton, also in M16. Although it promises to be another demanding and intensive week for Ten Hag and his players, three league fixtures in quick succession represent an opportunity to get points on the board and take a significant stride towards wrapping up a top four finish. The clash with Newcastle, on paper, strikes as being the toughest of the three aforementioned tests, and back-to-back -back home games against Brentford and Everton, though neither of them will be easy, is certainly an opportunity to get six points on the board, particularly when you take United's impressive home record this season into account. Currently, it is Newcastle and Liverpool chasing down a top-four berth, with Tottenham Hotspur currently occupying fourth. Newcastle face trips to West Ham United and Brentford next week following Sunday's meeting with United, while Liverpool's next three matches see them face Manchester City, A, Chelsea, A, and Arsenal, H, in the space of just nine days. You could argue that United's upcoming schedule is the kindest of the three. If the Reds play their cards right and earn a good haul of points from their next three games, they could should Liverpool falter against their traditional big six rivals, take a giant stride towards wrapping up a top-four finish before the Easter festivities have even drawn to a close. It feels as though a defining week is on the horizon for Ten Hag and anything between six and nine points from their next three games would be a respectable haul. Should United achieve that, not that anything would be mathematically secured just yet, it could allow them to put a little bit more focus back into their pursuit of further silverware. Their two-legged Europa League quarterfinal clash with Sevilla is not far away and their FA Cup date with Brighton is just four days before their trip to Tottenham. 
This forthcoming week is by no means a decisive one in United's campaign, but it is certainly a pivotal one in relation to their top four aspirations.